So that covers most of the design and operation of the ShiftSense Pro. So now we'll go out and do a test drive in all different driving conditions to compare the performance of the ShiftSense Pro to the stock programming and drive. Uh, if you're a 2016 or 2017 Tacoma owner, you probably already know most of the issues with the stock programming. Um, things like the gear hunting, the early upshifting, the lugging, the bogging. Uh, so we'll highlight those during our drive. Uh, for the drive in D, uh, what I've done so that you can see the current transmission shifts that are being made is I use my ELM327 reader, which is connected to the OBD port. It's connected to my iPhone through Wi-Fi. I'm using the OBD Fusion app, which is showing you the currently selected transmission gear. So as we drive, this will continually update showing which gear that we're in. For our first drive in D, we'll just do a normal acceleration, just so you can see the performance as we shift up through the gears. Um, again, we're sitting at a stop. It's showing we're in first gear here. So we'll go ahead and pull out. So it's already shifted up to second. That's one of the common problems, is it goes up to fourth way too early, requiring you to press the gas, downshift it to third. And it goes back to fourth again. That's press the so it upshifted to fifth again early, forcing you to downshift once again, back to fourth. Now we'll go ahead and do that acceleration again with the ShiftSense Pro Engage just to see how its performance differs from the OEM shifting in drive. So we'll go ahead and pull out here. And you can see we're in S2, second gear. So I made the upshift to second. Accelerate. I made the upshift to third. held that shift up to fourth a little bit longer, which keeps you more up into the performance of the engine without falling off the cliff when you, after you make the shift. Let's continue to hold four. As I press the hill, I relieve a bit of pressure. Let's see, make the final upshift a bit. So as you can see, much more predictable performance with the ShiftSense Pro as opposed to acceleration and drive. So this is one of the other areas where you get a lot of complaints with the Gen 3. Um, we're decelerating from highway speed into a neighborhood. And as we slow, we see that it's not downshifting. It's maintaining six gear now. We're at 48 miles per hour. Still slowing down to about 40 still in sixth gear. So at this point, there made a downshift to fifth, but if you were to step on the gas, you're at such low RPM that the truck will actually start to lug. And there I feel it lugging quite a bit. We're at uh, about 1100 RPM. Still in fifth gear. Press on a more, still maintaining fifth in this 35 miles per hour range. Now this is something that you won't see with the Shift Sense Pro. The Shift Sense will perform downshifts um, as we decelerate, never getting you into the situation where you're at 1100 RPM and the engine starts to lug. So now we'll show how the Shift Sense Pro differs when decelerating into a neighborhood area. So right now we're in fifth gear, we're at 57 miles per hour. As we approach the neighborhood and start to slow down, See to 45, it makes the downshift to fourth gear. So it'll go ahead and hold four here, but as you can see, we're right above 1500, 1600 RPM. So the, the engine will no longer want to lug because it's running at such a low RPM. So this area, this is one area where I notice a lot of gear hunting typically one freeway onto the next through an interchange. So we're in sixth gear still. Starting to do our 
third turn. That's the fifth, fourth. Back to fifth. We're at 41 miles per hour now. Back to fourth. Start to accelerate up to highway speed, drops to third. Went to fourth way too early. Take it back to third. Start up to fourth. We're in fifth. Back to fourth. Fifth. Now, this is one thing I noticed about the Tacoma, um, you know, really for any vehicle. It should be tuned where you could, you know, when you put your uh, accelerator in a fixed position, it, it should the shift point should match that demand of throttle. And one thing I noticed with the Tacoma, it requires a, a lot of throttle manipulation. So, you know, it seems like it'll you'll be at a, a certain throttle position, it'll upshift way too early, uh, which forces you to mash the pedal to make it uh, accelerate more so it downshifts, revs way high, then you need to let off the throttle which causes it to upshift again and you just get into this vicious cycle where you can never seem to accelerate smoothly. So here we're up to highway speed. Uh, I notice it's hunting a bit between 5th and 6th gear. Mostly flat here, slight grades. Now we're in 6th gear. high of a gear ratio in this truck, it's tough to sustain uh, with any type of grade or headwind whatsoever, so uh, you know, typically it needs to use fifth um, in this speed range. Once you get above 80 miles per hour, it'll hold sixth gear longer uh, because you're starting to get back up into that torque curve a little higher uh, where the engine can produce enough power to maintain speed. But anything less than that, it's constantly back and forth between fifth and sixth. Now we'll exit off the freeway and uh, watch the downshifts occur as we decelerate. We're at 56, we're still in 6 gear. So as you can see, it's still holding 6 gear. So if, if at this point we were to accelerate again, it would have to go through downshifts. So if I press the gas, there's nothing, so it has to shift all the way to 3. Back to six again, we're at 40 miles per hour. Downshift to the fifth, fourth, third, and it'll drop to one when we come to stop. So this time we'll see how the Shift Sense Pro compares in this interchange area uh, where we saw the gear hunting and early upshifting while in drive. So as we're decelerating, we're in fifth gear right now. As we get to about 45, we'll get a downshift to fourth. Okay, there you see the downshift to fourth.
if I hold moderate pressure on the throttle, it won't upshift the sixth. But if I want to upshift the sixth, all I need to do is feather the throttle slightly. Right there. All I did was just slightly let up, and it went to sixth gear. Now, with this type of a uh, little bit hilly terrain here, uh, it won't hold six for long. I'm sure it'll downshift to fifth soon. But uh, the Shift Sense Pro really eliminate the, the shift hunting keep it in fifth um, as opposed to where the OEM would allow it to upshift the sixth and go back and forth between fifth and sixth all the time. Um, right now it is actually holding six pretty nicely. There, drop back to fifth. So still holding fifth and now we're back below the 72. Um, min upshift speed, so it'll sit right here in fifth gear without hunting at all. So I got it back into sixth here, so you can see how it uh, downshifts as we decelerate. So we're going to exit the freeway here, we're at 68 miles per hour. 67 is where it made the downshift to fifth. shifts to fourth. So in this situation, you know, if you weren't coming to a total stop but you were planning to accelerate again, you would already be in the right gear that you need to accelerate. So 25, we'll get a shift to third. And as we come to stop, that final downshift to two. Now as we start out, the truck continues to start out in first gear, as it should. Shift it to second. And from here on up, the shift sense pro will control the rest of the shifts. So again, you see it hold that RPM a little bit higher before the shift to fourth. So you can continue with a smooth acceleration. Now, and during that entire acceleration, I didn't move my pedal at all. I kept one fixed setting on the throttle. And now we're in fifth gear and cruising. Lastly, when operating with the Shift Sense Pro, it will continually show your shifts on the dash indicator. If you don't like to see this, you can disable that following the instructions in, on page 96 in the owner's manual. And to demonstrate this, what you do is use the selector on the steering wheel to go to the settings tab. Press the center button to continue. Pop-up display is what you're going to want. Select that. Then if you go to shift position and unselect it, hit enter. Now it'll no longer pop up on the dash to show you the shifts. It will still show it down in the lower corner, so if you're interested in what gear you're in, you'll be able to find it there, but it won't continually pop up and display over top of the speed.